Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Property Wealth Decoded, and I'm Harvey. Well, recently, I don't know if you've heard of it, everyone's been talking about it, Canning Hill Pierce, situated in where we all knew as the former Liang Court shopping mall, seated right next to Club Key. 77% of the development was sold over one weekend, and most of the buyers were actually local Singaporeans or PRs. So what's the reason behind the hype? Now, this is my personal opinion, uh, does not represent anyone else's opinion. But just thinking, I think one of the reasons why Canning Hill Pierce sold well is because it's an integrated development. Now, on top of this development, not just uh, residences, there's also going to be a mall, there's also going to be a hotel, there's also going to be service apartments. In the smorgage board of everything, it does sound pretty exciting too. I think location-wise, it's not shabby as well, right? We all grew up, we all knew about uh, Clark Key, and it's a go-to place, and it is so-called by the water, right? Singapore River, very iconic. Thirdly, people do think that there is going to be capital appreciation for such products because what you can't change is location, location, location. So I think everybody wants a piece of this property to keep in their portfolio or even to use it themselves because of the fact that they think that this location cannot be replicated. Fourth, there is also a bit of FOMO involved in this. Because of the hype that many people are buying, if they don't, they might fear of missing out on buying something that someone else saw value but they didn't see. And last but not least, a little bit of nostalgia. This location has always been something dear to Singaporeans, I believe. We've sat at a bridge, you know, had some drinks, we had our dinner, I had my wedding near to that location as well. The location brings back fond memories. And therefore, is this going to set a new trend again of launches being sold with such a high rate? Will this continue into 2022? Now, that is an opinion that you could leave your comments down there. For me, I believe that with the dwindling inventory in new launches, could we see that this is the last hooray for 2021? Your guess is as good as mine. If you like what you hear so far and the contents that you have in this channel, do like and subscribe and look forward to more content that I'm going to put up on the channel. Thank you.